Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to recreate this flyer. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we wanna to go to file, make sure you choose a 10 by 10. You wanna make sure your resolution is 300. Make sure you choose a white background, go ahead and click okay. And to follow along, there is a link with all the images in the description below, please download so you can follow along. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my image, drag and drop it in. I'm going to double click to accept. Now we wanna go ahead and basically make a copy. We wanna go ahead and take off the background. So you wanna click on your image. Now we wanna go under property and look for quick action. If you don't see quick action, look for convert to layers. So we need to convert our image to layers before we can change or remove the background. So click on convert to layer and you want to click yes to change it into a smart object. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and click on remove background. If you go back and you don't see remove background, you need to click on quick action again. It will activate the remove background. Now we can go ahead and click on that to remove it. Now I'm going to zoom in because I want to clean up just a little bit around his arm. So pick up your lasso tool and we are just going to eyeball and just do a quick trace around the arm. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. and pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. You wanna to paint to hide. Command D, D select. And we wanna go back to our folder, drop in this image. Now we are going to hold down shift to so just stretch this image. We're gonna go ahead and drag and drop in this image and we are going to go ahead to scale it like that. Double click to accept. Now we wanna change the blend mode of this to soft light. So we have something like this. Now I'm gonna take down the opacity of this and then I'm also going to reduce the fill. So it's not too much, but at the same time it shows a little bit. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag in the second image we are going to set that also in place. Double click, accept it. Now we wanna change the blend mode of this to color burn. And obviously we wanna take down the opacity as well as the fill color, as well as the fill. So with our background coming together very well, we wanna add a gradient effect. So you wanna click on the last background image we brought in Go under your adjustment, click on gradient. Now we want to click on our gradient dialog box. Go under your red precept. There's a default precept, which is a red 07. Click on that. Click OK. Now we want to change the style to radar so that we have the color on the inside and the purple on the outside. So go ahead and click OK. Now we want to change the blend mode of this and we are going to choose overlay. Now, if this is too much, you can go ahead and reduce the opacity so you can take it down just a little. So the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and begin to type in our text. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my type tool and I'm going to go ahead and change my font to Century Gothic Pro. Now I'm going to click anywhere and just begin to type. I'm going to highlight my font and I'm going to go under my property and the type option. I'm going to turn off the cup locks so that I have only the first alphabet in cups. Now I want to go ahead and close in the gaps. So go under your property and the character, your VA, you can make it a little smaller. Now we are going to increase our font like that. I'm going to double click to accept. Now we want to take our font 
in our layer we want to click on our font in our layer and we want to move it below our subject layer so the next thing that i need to do is that i'm going to create a copy of my font so click on your font hold down command j make a copy if you are on the windows it's control j make a copy now we want to turn this into a line drawing so right click on the copy layer you want to select convert to a shape now we want to take the fill all the way to zero and you want to go under your path selection tool, which is right under your type tool. And you want to go up to your menu bar, click on the stroke, change the stroke color to white. Now change the pixel thickness to whatever you desire. I'm going to set mine at, I'm going to make that six. And I'm going to come out of this. So you can see it says boogie can. Now I'm going to take down the opacity. So it's not too much, but you can still see it at the same time. I'm going to go ahead to move this and set this somewhere here. Like so. I'm going to make a copy. So command J. Make a copy. I'm going to move that here. And I'm going to increase the opacity a little. And I'm going to make this big. We're going to make this big and we are going to set that right here like that. And I'm going to make this a little bit more bigger. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to type in the word competition. So I'm going to click on my font and I'm going to click somewhere here and I'm going to go ahead and type in competition. I'm going to go ahead to increase it a little. So with our font in place, I'm going to go ahead to also type in the rest of the info. So I'm going to type in the time. So it's going to be 7 p.m. And I'm going to highlight and I'm going to this time use the B bus and I'm using the bold. I'm going to go ahead to scale it to set it right here. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to make this white. I'm going to fast forward to type in the rest of the dates and information that we need. Now, when you have a font and you want to space it out, you need to click on the font, go under your property and go under VA. And you can basically space out your font this way. So I'm going to drag and drop in this image. I'm going to double click to accept. Now I want to basically infuse this on my image. So I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I want to cut out the background. So I'm going to click on my image to convert it into a layer and then take off the background. Now we want to change the blend mode of this. We want to change the blend mode of this to saturate. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead to increase or enlarge this so we have this effect. Now I'm going to hold down my options and I'm going to clip that to just my image so the next thing we want to do is to click on our gradient go under your adjustment and you want to add a hue and saturation now we want to take our hue to about a 56 and we want to get more of the deep yellow showing up now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to click on our image we want to click on our image and we want to go back to our folder and we are going to go ahead and drag and drop this image in. We are going to go ahead to rotate and scale it a little bit and double click to accept. Now we are going to go ahead to change the blend mode of this to screen and I'm going to rotate this a little so we have this effect. So you have the smoky effect on your subject. 
Now we are going to go ahead to add a layer max to our image, our layer. So click on the layer max thumbnail, pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. We know black hides. We want to basically brush on so we don't see the end uh, of that image. So this shows well. Now we can basically paint over some areas so that we can still see a subject but still have the smoky effect so the next thing we want to do is pick up our rectangular um, shape and we are just going to draw a basic rectangle and come under your fill now we want to go ahead and rotate it and make sure that we set that um, above everything else I'm going to go ahead and move it up a little. Now we want to change the blend mode of this and we are going to set this to, to color. Now we want to make sure that we have our competition layer below the triangle layer. So to finish it off, we can add a camera raw effect. So hold down shift option, command E, make one file. Now we can go to filter and choose camera raw filter. Now we can begin to play with the colors and basically bump it up just to see how rich we want to get it. Now you can play with all the different settings here. And if you're satisfied, you go ahead and click OK. So you can see that this is the before. It's a bit muted. This is the after, so which is a little bit more richer. Now you can choose to do this or you can choose to just leave it like this. You can even change the options you have here. So guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.